This is Eternal Treasures with Melissa Sines. Why are we inclined to blame God for our sinful nature? This week's devotion for reflection and prayer is entitled Overcoming Temptation and is inspired by James 1, 13 through 15. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. The Apostle James uses the analogy of conception, birth, and death to describe the progression of temptation. The desire of our old nature joins with the temptation, and as we pursue the craving of our flesh, it becomes sin. We must accept that God is not to blame for our temptations. He does not incite us to sin, but will allow us to be tested or to face difficulties. James forewarns us of the consequences we will face when we yield to temptations. Temptation is a hook that latches to our fallen nature and corrupts our God-given desires. Every time we succumb to it, we are led astray and the result brings misery. When sin pulls us away from God, it overtakes us and brings forth death. This is a wage spoken of in Romans 6.23. We are encouraged to take responsibility for pursuing immoral desires. It is critical that we ask God for wisdom to overcome it. The following are five useful strategies to help you avoid temptation. 1. Submit to God with faith. Repent and ask for forgiveness. 2. Read and obey God's word. 3. Deny yourself of anything that is not pleasing to God. 4. Acknowledge your weaknesses, pray, and avoid tempting situations. 5. Be transparent with God and seek an accountability partner. We are mistaken if we believe we will never be tempted. The potential to sin is always before us, but we are given opportunities to reject it if we only ask for help. Therefore, when sin entices us, we must make a choice. Obey God and rely on His strength to overcome, or give in to our selfish desires. What will you do to follow God's wisdom to be vigilant against the tempting impulses to sin? Let us pray. Father God, please give me the strength and wisdom to make godly choices. Help strengthen my self-control and resolve to remain devoted to you. I ask that you help me to walk in your way which leads to holiness. When temptation approaches, please provide me a way to escape its seductive thrall. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have any suggestions or comments, please email me at the lady at carry the light ministries.com. You have been listening to Eternal Treasures with Melissa Sines.